Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome to another HD review video, and this is actually going to be uh, a sort of a tour of my YouTube Insight, which is uh, basically the statistics of the viewers of my YouTube channel. Uh, so, uh, before I begin this video, I'm going to go to my channel page real quick. Uh, before I begin this video, I want to let you guys know that you can post a video response to this one, uh, of your own tour of your YouTube Insight. I really want to see uh, what your YouTube Insight looks like, what your popular videos are, uh, where your viewers are from, stuff like that. That's cool stuff to see. Uh, so basically the YouTube Insight, if you if you didn't know already, is basically the um, the statistics of the viewers of your channel and the viewers of your videos. You can view the YouTube Insight for uh, a, an individual video if it has a lot of views and comments and ratings, or you could view the insight for your entire channel, and that's actually what I prefer. So to do that, when you're signed in, just go up to the right-hand side and hit the account button, and that'll bring up this account page, youtube.com slash account, and from here you can go hit that inside button on the right-hand side, or just hover over account on the left-hand side and hit insight, statistics, and data. And this will bring your YouTube insight, which it does take a tiny bit of time to load, but it'll bring up your YouTube insight right here. And this is the summary page for your YouTube Insight. It'll tell you a very general overview of the demographics of your audience. So if you were thinking about emailing a company, uh, telling them, you know, I have a lot of viewers from this part of the world, or I have a lot of uh, subscribers who like these types of videos, you can definitely check this part out. So here's the summary, and it'll tell you right here, views, how many views are my videos getting? And uh, the interesting thing is it goes from 600 to 1K to 1K, but I guess it's like 1 point something thousand. Uh, so right now I'm hovering about 1,500 views per day. And um, it's, do it's going pretty well. It's doing pretty steadily, and I'll get more into that in a second. Over on the right-hand side, you'll have my videos and the percent of total views and the attention. And down here is your demographics, which can be actually quite interesting to look at. And on the right-hand side, your popularity in certain countries. So all the way up here in the left hand side is basically uh, how you navigate through the different parts of the YouTube Insight. If I scroll down here to views by clicking on it, uh, it'll give you a number of things including a graph of your YouTube views. If you've ever uh, gone to Google and uh, watched a stock, uh, you, you'll know that this is a very similar graph. Down here you can click this and drag to a longer period of time and you'll see uh, my views have changed a lot since and in the past uh, six months, in the past about four months I've been on YouTube, I've gotten a pretty steady number of views. Now on the right hand side you'll see a map, and this is kind of like a density map with the density of your viewership. Uh, you'll be able to see that a whole lot of my viewers are in the United States, uh, and a lot of them are in Canada and a lot in the UK, and a few more in Brazil and Australia, etc. In order to view the viewership for a certain country, you can click on the country, Canada for example, and it'll switch the graph to see exactly how many views have been from that country. I've been hovering around 100, 150. Uh, so let's go back to all countries just by clicking that. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and show you my top videos because this is really my favorite part. Um, I did a tutorial on downloading and installing Safari 4.0 beta when it first came out. And that was the first video on YouTube about Safari 4 beta. And it got about 16, 17,000 views. And since then, the, the final version of Safari 4 has come out, but the instructions for installation have remained the same. So I just changed this, the title and added an annotation letting you know the same instructions applied. And it's hit, it's become one of my most viewed videos. It, it's actually my most viewed video. as has 25% of my total video views in the last six months. Uh, so la now if we scroll up here to the demographics section, if we click on that, that is basically the the age and gender of your viewers. So most of my viewers are under the age of 65, a little creepy, but yeah. Um, most of my viewers are between 13 and 24, I'd say. And uh, the vast majority of my viewers are male, so I guess a shout out to my female viewers. Woohoo! <laughs> and over on the left hand side, there is a community button. And this is a pretty cool, uh, this is a pretty cool feature of YouTube. It'll let you know the community engagement in your videos. Uh, so if I scroll down to the past month, uh, you can uh, view total community engagement in terms of ratings. That's a lot of good ratings. And in terms of comments, and a lot more comments than ratings. And in terms of favorites, people who have favorited my videos, which goes up and down. Also, you can uh, choose ratings per view. 
by just hitting that ratings per view button and you can choose average ratings and see your average ratings over here so my average rating has been hovering just over 4.0 which which rocks it's really awesome that you guys rate my videos so highly and by the way rate this video five stars yay so uh, we can always um, go down and find another statistic like comments and find out how many comments per view if it's close to one I'd be surprised uh, but if you go ahead and click comments per view it'll let you know that and the graph obviously has to refresh every time uh, so I think that's views per comment and then we have to scroll down to favorites and see our favorites per view and that'll be of course a lower number but my tutorials again they get a certain amount of views depending on uh, what time I upload them now uh, down here you'll see what countries are most active in rating commenting and subscribing to your channel so if I go to ratings I'm just gonna go to ratings most of the people who rate my videos are from the United States and from the UK and then here are a list of the smaller countries uh, the smaller number of viewers and raters of my videos and then we'll go over to the left hand side and see percent of community engagement uh, so it's pretty cool that YouTube does give you this feature uh, if we go back to the summary here it's really cool that they let you see all this types of stuff about your YouTube account and you, you really get a good a good grasp of uh, what you want to send to a company when letting them know of your viewership so uh, thanks for watching guys please post a video response of your uh, your YouTube insight I want to see you know what's your most popular video what's your demographic look like uh, and maybe you can get a little information about how to improve your videos from that anyway this has been Marcus Brownlee from MKBHD thanks for watching thanks for rating and commenting and most of all thanks for subscribing to my videos it really means a lot thanks for watching guys peace